For those who haven't played with one, what exactly is Cano? The core Cano kit is a computer that you build and code yourself like Lego. It comes to life and then our software system shows you how to code it. It kind of takes you on a, a game-like adventure into the brain of the computer. One way we do that is through this story mode. You see all these components which can seem a bit mysterious. We'd like to give people a way to kind of walk on their surface. So in this world you shrink down to the size of a little transistor. We talk to different characters who explain to us the different rules of this world. And there are a whole host of mainline apps that you can manipulate in this way as well. One that's been you know, understandably extremely popular with our community is Minecraft. Using those kits, people have shared over a quarter million individual applications, over 35 million lines of code. So we're, we're kind of combining the role Lego used to serve in a young person's life with some of the powerful, open source, low cost computing tools that have arisen in the past few years. Lori, give this a go. Type circle space okay. 150. Boom. Oh, Simple as that. I just coded. <laughs> yeah. We let you build sensors, lights, and cameras. This is the motion sensor kit. Mm -hmm. You can plug this into any computer, not just a Cano computer. Why don't we start with some of the things people in the community are making? Laughing alien. Huh. That's cool. I'll show you how this one is made. So if I set the volume to 20 here, it's quieter. Parents are worried about screen time. It did seem like a part of a movement to enable technology in children's lives, but also get them away from the screen and building too. That trend is definitely there. How do you draw a truce in the screen time war? But I think it also extends beyond the under 13 year olds. So I think a lot of us are starting to feel a bit ambiguous about you know, what's going on behind this pane of glass. And Kano is emerging saying, you can, you can control this, you can make it, you can code it yourself. This isn't a skill set that is reserved uh, for a 1% of 1%, it's for everyone. There's so many diversity issues in Silicon Valley. You know, the blanket answer is we need more people learning STEM, you need more women at a young age coding and learning these skills. What is your take? What do you think needs to happen? We often get asked, like, will you make a, a girl's computer kit, right? And the response we give is, well, what is a, a girl's computer kit? Surely desire to look inside, you know, to, to take control, to, to make and to play. Those are universal human forces. And, you know, whether you're male or female, whether you, you know, live in Sierra Leone or Seattle, like those are, are things we all share. And so, you know, you ask a pretty concrete question, you know, how, how, do, we, how do we level and equalize? Introducing five-year-olds and six-year-olds, not just to the Instagram scroll, you know, the notifications feed, but to the terminal, to logic, to iteration, to conditionals, letting them play with data, use an algorithm to make a sound wave or a beat. If at an early age you're introduced to that stuff, it stops being the domain of the genius in the basement. It stops being the sort of exclusive privilege of the 1% of 1% in the valley. It's, it starts being a part of 21st century life. We've always said, let's build an all ages, all over the world product and let's make it as good as we can. We've been confident that you know, if we really listen to people and make it um, in an empathetic way, we won't have to segment by identity. And, you know, we see girls, you know, as the most active users on Cano World today.